What's going on everybody? Chump Change XD here. Hope you're all staying healthy and having a great day. So in this video, I wanna unpackage this RTX 3090. I wanna hook up this 3070, and I wanna get all of these for the Win 3 cards in the same rig. In addition to that, you guys probably already saw it, this six-way splitter. I wanna give this a shot. Not that I need it, in this application, but I wanna just see if it registers all the cards and this thing actually works perfectly. So what we will do is basically shut this rig down. I will remove this 1X PCIe riser along with all of the other ones. I will put this 4X splitter into that 16 slot and all six GPUs, that 3090, this one, the 3070, and the 33080s will all go into that one splitter. And then we're gonna see if it all registers inside Hive OS. So let's get to it. First step's gonna be to stop the miner. We're gonna give that a minute just so the GPUs have a chance to cool down a little bit before we actually shut the entire thing off. Because I don't know if you guys have noticed, like these will actually like crickle and crackle You'll hear like the metal tinging if you shut them off too quick and that's not good because you could actually crack something inside the GPU. So you always want to stop the miner and then shut it down. All right, so now we're gonna shut down the rig, confirm. All right, good to go. So now I need to basically just, I'm gonna let them sit here for a few minutes just to cool off a little bit. This uh, A4000 actually gets a little warmer than uh, the other cards. I mean, it's really not too bad, but either way, I'm gonna leave it right there for now. Just let it cool down a little bit. Um, let's just move this 3070. I guess we'll just stick it right there. Shouldn't harm anything. I'll move this splitter back here. All right, I want to open this 3090 first, and then we will get to everything else because I haven't even looked at this card yet. Hopefully it's actually in here. So I actually got this card pre-opened. It was not mined on apparently or used. It was just hooked up and then the person either had second thoughts or just didn't want it anymore. So let's check it out. You know what, I need two hands to get this thing out of the box, so give me one second and I'll have this thing opened on the table. So here she is, literally brand new. This thing doesn't have a speck of dust on it, if you could see. GeForce RTX 3090, literally not a speck of dust. It still has the center fan stickers on it, so I'm going to have to peel those off, but I am excited. That is a actual brand new 3090. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna stick that on top of this Misfit Mining tabletop mount. If you guys are interested in these, I will have them in the description below. They're going to be available in black, not this shiny green right this minute, but we do have them in black, and I will have them in the Misfit Mining Discord for you guys to Go and check out, we have a whole store there with a bunch of different stuff. So I'm gonna replace the A4000 with the 3070. And yeah, the 3090 is just gonna go on there. And then what I'm going to do is, I think I'm going to do something a little crazy because I don't want all of these on my desk. What I'm gonna do is basically build a shelf to go right across from this pole to this pole. And I wanna sit all five tabletop mounts right on top of my PC. Just like they are now, facing this way, obviously fan on the front, and I'll put them all there. Then I wanna take these right here. These are fans that I actually took off of my studio build and the wife's other mining rig that I built her back during Valentine's Day because they're just sitting there doing nothing right now. So I stole the fans to basically put them all on these GPU mounts 
This is gonna be one hell of a crazy RGB computer. So let's get this thing all situated. Let me get risers on these. Let me get them in the tabletop mounts. Let me get all the things wired up, this built, and I'll explain exactly how I did it. And then we'll hook up this splitter, the entire point of doing all of this. So the A4000 officially found a new home. It is going to be mounted on the wall right here with the CPU mining rigs. It's only gonna be temporary, not gonna be uh, for a long period of time, but it's only gonna pull 70 watts or so. And these two rigs together only pull about 250. So this 450 watt power supply should be perfectly fine. As you can see, I got it all plugged in. I actually just split the uh, PCIe cable that was feeding the CPU because I got a PCIe by CPU adapter. And then I obviously took the other leg that I just split and plugged in the GPU and the riser because there's another splitter there to there on the other side. So let's turn this thing on. I want to get it hashing and then I'll show you guys the monstrosity I just built. All right, all seems to be working. The riser's lighting up, so that's a good sign. This GPU is like paper thin, so literally it's not gonna go anywhere. It sits perfectly. I put one of those uh, riser backers on the bottom of the riser, so it's nice and sturdy. And uh, yeah, we're gonna leave that thing just like that. All right, let's check out what I just built. All right, so real quick, I had to update the NVIDIA driver for that uh, CPU rig over there to actually read the card. So while it's doing that, look at this monstrosity I just built. <laughs> this thing is uh, awesome. I have a 3090, 3080 Ti, 3080 LHR, a 3080, and then a 3070, and a 3090. So this rig is an entire EVGA for the Win 3 rig. I have longer USB cables going from A all the way down, up and around to these three cards here. And then these three are just the normal GPU risers, USBs that go right to the first three cards. Sorry, I lied, to the first two cards. But that is all plugging into this six-way splitter, the one that I showed you guys on my desk. I know it's kind of hard to see. I have a 16X ribbon going to the bottom of this splitter because you need to have a minimum of a 4X slot for that thing to go into and be able to split the GPUs. So that's how I have that hooked up. I am praying that this thing turns on and everything registers perfectly fine. This right here, I need to put some fans on and I have them right there, but initially what I wanna do is turn this thing on. I wanna make sure it registers, make sure everything boots up and then we'll go from there. So let's do it. Power's on the power supply. Now, let's see, moment of truth. Yes. How sick is that? I'm so happy everything boots up. All right, let's get into HiveOS to see if this thing registers. Check it out. Apparently, all six cards are registering on that six-way splitter. That thing is friggin' amazing. I am so pumped. All right, let me adjust the wattage, adjust the clocks. I gotta get this miner set, and then I am going to put all these fans on, and you guys will see that all done in just a second. All right, got a whole bunch of fans. Did a little bit of cable management. I mean, really not too much, but I got to, uh, yeah, I don't know. I might need to clean up the stuff down here a little bit, but for the most part, everything looks pretty good. So let's get this thing powered back up. Actually, that's already on. So yeah, let's see what this uh, looks like. All lit up. Three, two, one. That is sick. Wow, I am like, I'm blown away. That looks absolutely phenomenal.
All right, let's get this miner going and see what this rig's pulling. All right, as you can see, everything's registering. The 3080 on top, we have 101. The 3080 below that, 73.4. The 3070 is at 62, the 3080 Ti is at 87, we have the 3090 is at 124, and the one below that is 123. So these cards are absolutely killing it. So yeah, this rig right here is doing a total of 573 mega hash, and it looks absolutely fantastic. This is honestly the most colorful rig I've ever had <laughs> and the most expensive. So hopefully you guys appreciate this. I am stoked to know that that six card splitter actually works that well. I will try to leave a link in the description below to it if you guys are interested. But guys, as always, don't forget, smash that like on the way out. Please consider subscribing. I do try to drop a video each and every single day and I appreciate each and every single one of you guys for watching. So please stay safe, and I'll see you guys real soon. Peace.